Hey everyone, Saksham here back again with another video and you must have heard a lot of times that a lot of sellers are beating each other with the help of some AI tools. Yes, they are taking the help of a lot of AI tools and they are doing the web scraping from them and they are actually trying to know that what keyword their competitor is using and which price they are selling. We can of course see this from our eyes but if we are going to get the data by scraping it up from a lot of websites like Amazon or some other e-commerce website then if you are going to get the structured data in an excel file very neatly you'll be able to figure out that why your product is not doing well and it is not coming up onto the searches and likewise we can do this for a lot of research purpose as well or if you need to create any kind of data set or something like that you can definitely scrape the data without any programming language with this tool so today we are going to learn that how you can scrape the data very quickly from anywhere onto the internet without any programming language so let's get started so first of all what you need to do is that you need to go on google.com or maybe you just need to search something which is named as octopars so here you need to go onto their website that is www.octopars.com and you need to click on this button which says download. Now this is also a very good thing about them that they are actually using the cross platform approach. So if you are onto the Mac then feel free to go for it or if you are onto the Windows OS then it's good again. So just click on this button uh, which says 8.5.2 and yes one more thing. If you have any friend or someone who is a seller at e-commerce then feel free to share this video because since I told you that there is no programming language required in order to scrape the data now. So you need to click on this button 8.5.2 and then this software will get downloaded onto your desktop. It will be a very amazing smooth running desktop client. I have already downloaded it in order to save over time. So I am just going to open it up and let's open Octopars and you need to sign up here till then and make sure the credentials that are that you are using in order to sign up in here uh, you gotta have to use those exact credential on this desktop client so i already have that in here i'm gonna click on login and let's take a quick tour of this tool and Okay, so this is how it is looking like. So first of all, you have a lot of popular templates of a, a lot of websites like Amazon, eBay, Booking, TripAdvisor, Instagram also, Twitter, YouTube as well. Uh, it can help a lot of YouTuber friends as well uh, in order to see that which of their video is doing amazing and what kind of keywords they are using or what kind of title they are using. And you can also visit uh, Yellow Pages and Google Maps. Now, if you have any business running up, uh, I'm pretty sure there must be a lot of other business uh, that must be running up according to your category. For example, if you are running a restaurant business, then you would definitely love to see that what other restaurants are doing, how much rating they have, who is coming up and how they are coming up actually. So you can also extract their data as well. So in this video, first of all, let's try to scrape some data from Amazon and then we are going to scrape the data from this Google Maps or the Google listed uh, a lot of businesses over there. And then in the end, we can also scrape the data for a lot of uh, cryptocurrencies as well. So uh, I think CoinGecko is one of the most famous website for the crypto lovers. So we are going to scrape the data from there too. So let's explore this tool more. So into the new you have three options like advanced mode, task templates, they are exactly like these templates but they have more options in here. You can see uh, that it can really help a lot of people related to uh, travel, social media, search engines, directories, maps, jobs, scholar data, real estate and finance people as well. So there are other modules as well like you can import the task, you can create a new group. Now this create new group uh, will actually export your data into this group or you can say the category in the end and also into the advanced mode uh, you can just import the URL like if you are visiting on your browser and uh, you like that URL you save it and you try to uh, just import that URL in here and that URL will open up into their browser of Octopars. But since they have made a very seamless browser so I prefer using uh, Octopars uh, whenever I am in a mood to scrape any kind of data but I accept the fact that sometimes people use Google Chrome and these other browsers as well. So you can actually uh, copy and paste that URL and later on you can import it here and then we'll see in some time that how easily you can just scrape the data from there. 
and these modules are done into the dashboard. Uh, you can see that if you have scraped any data and the task is completed or if the file is completed, you can export them from here. So this task can be done in a two way into the offline using your machine power and you can also use their cloud functionality which is flawless again. And also uh, you can move on with data services, which will open up their website actually. And also you can see that uh, what are the experiences they are giving up and there are huge amount of tutorials uh, that they have onto the website of Octopars. So you can also explore other tutorials as well. But today we are going to do a quick scraping in few minutes. Okay, so you also have toolbox in here where you can use a lot of regex related tools. So if you are a code programmer, then you must be knowing that what exactly our regular expressions are. And you can also use the database auto export tool and you can schedule it. And also you can watch these tutorials like I mentioned few minutes back in order to learn. Uh, like you can see, you can just interact a web page, authentication, cookies pagination and you can do a lot of more things. But today we are going to get started with the practical of quick web scraping from here. So okay, let's go ahead and try to do a quick scraping. And like I promised you, first of all, we are going to get started with Amazon. So it is act actually like a browser. Let's close these tabs. And since I'm staying in India, so I'm going to scrape the data for Amazon.in and I'm going to click on start and you can see that Amazon.in is right here in front of us. So suppose uh, if you are an electronic seller on any e-commerce website or maybe uh, you are selling any clothing essentials. So let's go ahead and check out this clothing essentials. Uh, so you can see a lot of uh, products are right here and you know the tea is starting from 299 t-shirt polos so let's explore some shirts over here so i'm gonna click on shirt let's hit on click element and you can see that a lot of clothing uh, lists are right here and a lot of t-shirts are right here and i want to extract the data of all of these people in order to see that what kind of keywords they are using like this guy is using man's checkered slim fit or man's casual checked half sleeves uh, these are the different different keywords that actually matters a lot and their company names and the price range that they are keeping in here and you can see that uh, they also have this thing over here that they are extracting the reviews all also so i'm going to go with 10 seconds of ajax time that is good enough and i am going to go with auto detect web page so if I auto detect the web page, let's see what kind of results that I'm about to get from this uh, web scraper. So it is actually completing its job pretty fast and we are almost done and yes, it's done. So you can see that it has listed a lot of products right here and you can see uh, like it has almost extracted all the products that were right here very beautifully. And the one thing that I uh, like about it is that you can also uh, check the workflow in order to see that uh, what is actually happening in here. So you can see that uh, like I, I've given the 10 second time of Ajax, uh, which is helping me to go with this pagination as well. You can also uh, go with the you know uh, pagination option or you can click on load more button, which is right here in the down. And you can also go with pagination methodology and you can see that it has extracted the serial number, image and the link of the product and the URL and then, uh, you know, a size base plus actually you can rename them. See, these are the devs uh, that he has selected. So basically uh, I can write here as product and I can hit enter and you can see that uh, you can also just rename these kind of tables in here and then you have a lot of other options uh, like you can also go with a uh, trigger functions or you can also go with div functions if you uh, specifically want to choose only one div or you specifically want to uh, click on few products you can do that manually as well instead of auto web detect but this is the easiest way in order to extract your data from online. So in the end, you can definitely export these kind of data fields. So I'm going to click on export and you can export it right down into your local file. Or the best way is that you just click on run 
and it will be done onto the cloud and it will keep your file safe actually. So if I click on run now, uh, then you can see uh, that into the dashboard, you'll be able to see that if the job is completed, it will send you that report. Or maybe you can just extract the data uh, onto your desktop maybe. So le let's go ahead and let's go into this option of t-shirts and let's uh, and let's try to save it and let's see what we have got here. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to open up the folder of t-shirts maybe. So this is my folder of t-shirt. So you can see that this file is right here and you can open it in Excel. But anyways, I would recommend to go for the cloud functionality. So you, you need to go into this dashboard and here into the dashboard, you can uh, maybe just uh, like look at where your file is actually running right now. It will take some time in order to extract these data. It is actually uh, running and reading and writing all the other lines or you can say the fields of the Excel. And also uh, you can also extract the data for a lot of uh, altcoins as well and uh, you can extract the data from Google uh, listings as well, business listing. So let's go ahead and uh, let's try for uh, google.com. Let's search for it. And actually I'm into the template section. I need to go to home and I need to go to this google.com. So suppose like I told you a few minutes back that if you want to check that what are the restaurants around you that are doing well. So I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna undo this action. I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, so these are the different different restaurants around me. If I click on more places and if I click this element right here, uh, then you can see that you have a lot of list of restaurants right here. Again, you can keep the Ajax timeout to 10 seconds and then you can auto detect and then you'll see that the list of these restaurants will also be prepared. So you see in the end, uh, likewise, you can see that, hey, the name or you can say the title of this restaurant is uh, Barley and Grapes Cafe. Uh, you can see their rating uh, so maybe you can just rename it so you can write here as rating and likewise you can see the rating that they have got and even if they don't have any review it is also stating that they don't have any uh, review with no review and also you can see the details right here is like where it is actually situated dine in and all the details are very neatly extracted in here so you can again uh, extract these kind of details and you can export it very neatly over there you can also extract the data of a lot of cryptocurrencies like i told you that you may go on coin gecko and you can click on start okay uh, it's coingecko.com is what i need to write here okay again i'm jumped onto this template I'm going to click on start. Okay, so the coin gecko is here. So suppose you have these um, around 100 currencies and you can extract their data. And also we are going to check that how you can also go with pagination method in order to extract more like till 135 pages, you can practically extract their data. So you're going to go with auto detect once again. And it is going to take a while in order to extract this data. But it's pretty fast and pretty easy going since no programming is required uh, as well. So that is also a good part over here. So you can see that uh, Bitcoin, BTC, the buying price is extracted uh, with a lot of uh, changes that you can see that were there into the one hour. Uh, one hour, 0.3% uh, Bitcoin was increased uh, in 24 hours. There are actually 24 hours volume and their market cap and any of these things uh, can be extracted or distracted. So for example, if you just want to know the market cap, uh, nothing more or maybe uh, you don't want to uh, you you want to remove this field uh, because sometimes uh, these things can also do mistakes so maybe I can just delete this field and you can see that that field this buy was actually coming over there like uh, suppose these kind of small buy things were coming on this field so this is also looking neat once again so again with the same methodology you can extract it and you can also check for pagination that I was telling you so likewise uh, this next button will 
will also be clicked if you if you will go on to this module which says paginate to scrape more pages so i'm going to click on check and let's see if it is actually going to check okay so it has checked like it was highlighted few minutes back and if you will uh, create a workflow and you'll see that your pagination is also right here so maybe you can extract a lot of more things by running the task uh, you, can, you can just click on run the task now and it will extract more of the data so this was amazing web scraping tool that i have experienced and uh, let's go ahead and uh, visit our dashboard and you can see that uh, this is completed 357 lines uh, are completed so let's export this task and let's click on export task and let's go on to the desktop and again uh, if i select this folder t-shirt folder you can also export the task as xsv as well uh, like i've done that few minutes back uh, for example for example you can also export the excel like this and very neatly like i have uh, written the keyword over there as t-shirt so you can see the detail of the t-shirts are right here along uh, with the url and the rating and their pricing so everything is very neatly exported right here into the excel format so excel format or otd format you can export them uh, which is quite easy right here so this was a quick tour about how to uh, actually do the web scraping without any programming language for more you can also explore their tutorials they have a wide range of amazing tutorials in order to learn more for this tool because sometimes i accept this fact that you must not be having any knowledge of programming but you must be a seller on to any e-commerce website so this tool can be really a game changer for you one more thing to notice that if you are actually planning to buy this tool uh, by avoiding using its free version for the greater performance then they have a sale coming up from this 8 june so make sure you mark the date into your calendar for 8 june where they are offering 30 percent discounts on renewal or maybe 10 percent discounts onto the buying or upgrading plans so make sure you check out this tool and you do the web scraping without any programming language after watching this video so that's it for this video till then happy scraping and i'll see you again tomorrow with another video